got the blackjack 24 back on the block gonna be installing this turnergy 36 65 2100 kv brushless motor we've tried the stock motor which has given us 43 miles per hour on 4s we've tried this 2868 which has given us 55 miles per hour on 4s now we're going to try the 3665 and drop that in the boat and see what we get eventually i want to put the tp power 3650 which is a long can motor heavy heavy motor but i've got to replace this stock motor mount and it's not in stock anywhere online so i may either make one so we can try the big boy the big block or we may make a support back here just to hold the back of the can up because that is an extremely heavy motor it's kind of why i wanted to try this one this is kind of a heavy motor as well not quite as heavy as the tp power but it's a big block and uh we'll see what it does see what kind of speeds we get out of it on the boat it's actually helped keep grease in the cable in the stuffing tube system I've, I've not had to grease this strut quite as much this cable quite as much as I had to before so uh, pretty cool mod um, it really does it really helps in, and benefits a couple of different areas so going the right direction so uh so let's uh let's go let's go run it let's go run the boat see what it does my cord so we got the turnergy 3665 2100 kv motor in got it zeroed out Throw that in the boat. It's gonna give us a little bit more weight up front, which should help us keep the boat down a little bit. Now, if I haven't messed with the strut angle at all. It's basically in line with the ride pads. Let's see what we can do with this. Anything over 50, 50 miles an hour on a boat, I would recommend uh, taping up the hatch. Let's see what she does. 4S, 2200 milliamp. <laughs> Whoa. Let's warm up the battery a little bit. Get a feel. All right, let's get us a run in. Keeping the bow down, I think we need a bigger battery. Let's see what we had. I don't think it's no 55. That little small block turned hard, man. 44, that's what we were getting with the stock motor. All right, so let's put a bigger battery in. Let's put, let's put this 4S battery in it. 3200 milliamp, 50C. Peak, stop, record. So 55 with a small block. 44 with this one. I can't believe that because this motor right here turns. I 
I hadn't messed with the strut or anything, so we might have to fine tune that strut with the extra weight in the boat. Zeroed out 3200 milliamp 50C. Let's see what it does. Lower KV. Lower KV than that 2868. All right, let's get us a good run in. All right, here we go. The small block actually gave me a better speed than this. 3665 with a 3200 milliamp battery larger battery just kind of goes to show you you know bigger isn't always better when it comes to rc boats sometimes it is don't get me wrong sometimes it is bigger bigger motors bigger batteries bigger esc more power will get you a better top speed but not in all cases just kind of wanted to kind of prove my prove my theory you know i just did a couple runs it's getting late but 45 is about what i got um with this setup here 3200 milliamp 50c battery with the 3665 so yeah 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 we'll we'll probably keep this motor in for a couple more videos uh see if we can't beat our top speed might tinker around with the strut position with some different propellers and maybe go to a bigger pond see what we can do with this motor i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good good ring the bells and all them whistles big b with ironclad rc we'll see you guys next time